Hey, this is Sahil with another tip. Uh, you know, when we do modern dev, this package JSON node-based development, one of the things we do a lot is npm install, which frankly takes a very long time. So what I'm about to show applies to really any modern dev project, uh, but certainly one of those that it applies to is SharePoint Framework. So one of the things with SharePoint Framework is the is that the npm install takes for Ever. I guess they have taken a lot of dependencies on things, so it just takes a long time. I've taken, I've seen, you know, as long as three, four, five minutes. So I just created a new project right in front of you, and I did not run npm install. Now I will tell you that on this machine, this is a dev machine, I have done npm installs for SharePoint Framework on this machine before. Let me also show you the versions I'm working with. Okay, so 8x and 5x, that's uh, the NPM and Node versions. So let's go ahead and do an NPM install and let's see how long this takes. Now remember, as I said, on this machine, I have done NPM install for this very same project before. So cache should not be, uh, you know, a factor that affects this. So let's see how long this takes. Yeah, sorry, it's gonna take some time, you're just gonna to have to watch. So actually, while this is running, let's talk of a couple other things. These things make me nervous. Look at this, tough cookie, redos vulnerability, parsing set cookie, see this. Um, or uh, let's see, types ADAL is now, types ADAL Angular. I guess that's not a security issue, but still. Uh, or please update for compatibility. It's amazing that all of these popular project templates and node packages, even like Gulp, relies on things that are deprecated. That sort of sucks. But anyway, that's uh, going on a tangent there. Okay, tell you what, I don't want to bore you with this progress bar. I'm going to pause the video and I'll catch you when this NPM install finishes, okay? Okay, so the install just finished. It took 120.622 seconds. Let's note that down. So npm install took 120.62 seconds. So 120.62 seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to rmrf node module, just remove them. I should also mention that everything I'm showing here will work on Mac Linux as well. I'm showing this to you on Windows, but it'll certainly work on other platforms as well. So my goal here was to speed up this installation, but I didn't want to take a dependency on a lot of complicated setup. I understand there are products like Jake and Synopia and that I let me create a NPM registry offline. So I didn't want to go down that route. It's just too much setup. Okay, so I've removed the SharePoint, uh, the node modules. Uh, now let's go ahead and type yarn install and let's see how long that takes. So yarn install, I'm hoping will be quicker, but let's find out. So this is fetching packages, step three, step four. It's a total of five steps. Tell you what, just like before, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to catch you when the whole installation finishes, okay? Okay, so yarn install just finished and this took 72.83 seconds. Let's note this down also. Yarn install took, how long was that? 72.83 seconds. Okay, seconds, come on, seconds. I guess that's good enough. Okay, now I'm going to RMRF node modules one more time. And the next thing I'm going to do, well, let's wait for this to finish and then let's, uh, then let's uh, see what I'm going to do next. So with the node modules folder gone, I'm going to make a minor change. I'm going to say npm set progress equals false. And I'm going to run npm install one more time. And let's see how long this takes. So 
after running this, it really doesn't give me any output here. Well, that's because we asked progress equals false. Uh, but at the very end, it'll start giving out some output and then you'll see that it'll do an NPM install. So again, I'm going to just pause the video and I'll catch you when this NPM install finishes. Okay, so it started writing out some output. That means it's getting closer to being finished. And well, 68.829 seconds, even better. So NPM install with progress off was, how long was that? 68.829 seconds. So you see that the default NPM install is just really, really slow. Yarn install was so much faster and then NPM install with progress off is literally like half, almost half the speed of the original. Man, that's gonna, that's gonna amount to a lot of save time. But let's see if we can make it even better. RMRF node modules. So let's clear that out. Okay. Okay, so I have no node modules here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say yarn install dash dash prefer offline. Okay, what does this do? So what this does that it'll basically it'll uh, skip any conditional request, three or four checks for stale cache data. And it'll only hit the network if you're missing something from the cache, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and run yarn install prefer offline and hit enter and let's see how long this takes for the same project. So one of the things I notice is that at this step is where it takes a very long time, uh, at least for SharePoint framework. Um, I don't know, maybe there's some room for optimization there, but who knows. Uh, but anyway, I mean, you know that if you've worked with any relatively complicated node-based project, you know that we spend a lot of time doing NPM installs and my computer's fan is coming on and you know, you know how that goes. And especially when you're on a poor internet connection, hotel, airport, whatever, you know, this prefer offline, I think the difference would be even more substantial. So this time I won't actually pause the videos, so you'll actually see this take all this time. And this time... It was done in 47 seconds. So yarn install dash dash prefer offline. 47 seconds. 47 versus 120. Man, that's like one third. So just a question of muscle memory, start doing yarn install dash dash prefer offline and you'll save hours of cumulative time in your dev life. Thanks.